Hi everyone, Kumlo. In this video, let's talk about five snakes found in Meghalaya that I personally think are quite rare and unique to be found in our state. Though there are about 26 documented species of snakes in Meghalaya, here are five that I've personally chosen for this list. At number five, we have Indotyphlops brahminus, also known as the Brahmini blind snake, which is the smallest snake in India. Its average length is between 4 to 6 inches. It is a small, thin and shiny snake. Its color is silver grey, charcoal grey or purple to blackish. It has a blunt head and tail which sometimes can be confusing and hard to distinguish between the two. It has very tiny dots as eyes that are covered with translucent scales. And it is very hard for it to form images but can react to light intensity. So even though it has eyes, it is technically blind. This particular snake is non-venomous and I've kept it at number 5 because even though it might be common, you might have encountered it in your gardens or maybe if you're someone who lives near a forest, you might mistake it for a worm instead of a snake. So hence I've included in this list. And considering its length, it can easily be mistaken for an earthworm or any other type of worm that are found in your gardens or in a soil. At number 4, we have the Cybenophis chinensis, also known as the Chinese many-toothed snake. This particular snake is found in concentrated areas of forest and it is about 25 to 30 inches in length. It is brownish to greyish in color. It has a very prominent black head with black stripe running up the dorsal neck to the back of the head. Behind the head, there is an incomplete ring which may be either whitish in color or yellowish in color. The snake is native to Jeju Island in South Korea, but it was first documented in China. And as the name suggests, it has many small teeth that it uses to capture its small prey. The snake is also non-venomous and it feeds on other small critters like insects and other small invertebrates such as snails and worms. The picture of the snake that you see here was actually taken at Mao Plung Sacred Grove when my friends and I were on a field trip during our college days and we were quite fortunate to have spotted the snake and well, we took the picture. Coming to number 3, we have Coelonathus radiatus, also known as the copperhead rat snake or radiated rat snake. Copperhead not because it has a head made of copper, but actually it has a head that resembles the color of copper. Radiated because it has three radiating stripes that occur below and behind its eyes. It is grayish brown in color with four dark stripes running along the body. What is most peculiar about this non-venomous rat snake is that when threatened, it mimics a cobra and stands up like a cobra and start to intimidate its predator or someone that is threatening it. And if that doesn't work, it will lie down on its dorsal side, showing its ventral side to the predator, sticking its tongue out and releasing a very rotten smell. This particular behavior is referred to as thanatosis, which is the feigning of death or acting death or pretending to be dead, which is a defense mechanism. Another interesting fact about this particular snake is that it is used as a trainer snake in Thailand for amateur snake wranglers. At number two, we have Python malurus malurus, also known as the Indian rock python. This is actually quite a rare snake to be found in Meghalaya. In the past five years, there were only two reported sightings, both of them from Tura. Although it is distributed all over India, Again, I'd like to emphasize that a snake this big is quite rare to be found in Meghalaya. This snake is heavily built, has dark brown blotches on its back. The body contour is a mixture of grey or off-white or pale brown. There is an incomplete arrow-shaped mark on its head. The scales are smooth and shiny and its eyes have vertical pupils. The Indian rock python feeds on small mammals like rats, deer, monkeys, dogs, and so on. One very cool characteristic about these snakes is that they have these thermoreceptors or labial pits on their lip scales that help the snake to locate warm-blooded prey. And how does a python kill its prey? The python coils around its prey by constricting it till it dies of suffocation. 
it is literally squeezing every ounce of oxygen that is present in the lungs of their prey until they die. And to complete this list, at number one, we have Ophiophagus hana, also known as the King Cobra. I mean, what other snake can be at the top spot of this list if not the King Cobra? Again, this particular snake is very rare to be found in Meghalaya. It is the longest venomous snake in the world. In India, it is distributed in the Western Ghats, the Tamil Nadu, Odisha, West Bengal, and the jungles of northeast india including meghalaya the average length of the snake is about uh, 9 feet 10 inches but it can reach a maximum length of about 15 feet it has a yellowish brown gray or dark moss green body with yellowish white bands throughout its length the underside is light brown or ash gray the hood is longer and narrower than that of the indian cobra and has large eyes with round pupils the king cobra will hunt other snakes for its food and it will also eat its own species and that is why the genus name of the king cobra is ophiophagus which is taken from the word ophiophagic which literally means a snake eating other snakes and there you go these are the five snakes that i have kept on my list for the simple fact that they are quite unique and some of them for being quite rare to be found in our wonderfully diverse state. I mean, it's amazing to have these snakes in our state of Meghalaya. But before I end this video, did you notice that only one snake on this list is venomous? The rest of the snakes are non-venomous. That being said though, there are many venomous and semi-venomous snakes in Meghalaya. And that is another video for another time. Which snakes do you think should have been on this list? Let me know in the comments below.